Good morning. Morning. How's life treating you? How are you, Jack? Hear you was sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Okay, good. Or a siphon. Oh, oh, oh. All right. All right. Quit moaning. Oh, 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 God. Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Uh, I, I gotta get out of here. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. 
Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Oh. Uh, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're here. His chaperone. I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. And life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see him. How do you like this? Yes. Mm. Could have been worse. Ah, better than nothing. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? Excuse me, gentlemen. What are you doing? Reverend! Hey. Calm down! Hey. What the hell? Get your hands! off him. Say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me.
Welcome back, Arthur. Hey! <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? <laughs> Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town, see if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You can take us, too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. Chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Let's go. All right. You know the way? Yeah. Me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Oh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You've been drinking. <laughs> yep. Ladies, bring us a song. <laughs> Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really. You can do it, Arthur. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me, too, if I leave him. Sure, no problem. 
Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress no, the women. Let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse full of lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Best thing I ever learned. There's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Yeah. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. <laughs> Something to pass the time while we're waiting on the whip. Yeah. That guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. 
You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait. Ain't you the fella who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. Don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well... Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Diné and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Chili. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking too long. Get your hands off me, mm. friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Earl says the sheriff's got a new lead on that string of robberies. They paid for the room up front, so I didn't ask any questions. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Like I said, as far as I know, they're in 2B. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Uh, I paid for nothing. Uh, oh. I think you two can step up. Uh, uh, time, avoid me. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about, just men. But stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. 
You okay? Sure. He only punched uh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Just a word. Yeah! Okay, uh. sir. Here they are. Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. But I'll oblige him this once. All right. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Don't try me now. All right, then. Deputy, would you please? I'm gonna need your details. You aren't going anywhere, and neither am I. Take the time and get this right. From what I hear, you ain't leaving us anytime soon. We're gonna need a fair record of you. Tell me everything except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. a record we'll have on you. You're lucky you were caught, you know. The way the town feels about what happened, you were likely to be shot. It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. If it's all correct, I'll take a photograph. I'll need to see your fingers, palms to you. <sighs> Make sure this time. How you doing with that? Okay, then. We pulled the wrong one of you?
Well, let's get you in there then. your picture took. Hold up your fingers. Okay. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's East Staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moving! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moving! You! You! You with the hammer! And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Rhodes. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. It's not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Ready? Wonderful. 
I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sisica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken, in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up, and those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. You're just up here. There's the camp. Get your horse. Been a while since you saw it this way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. That looks more comfortable. Hawley? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, and my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. 
Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Hawley, go introduce her to Mass Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you, better than most of his ilk. Cripps! <clears throat> Get up! Oh, hello, partner. Horley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Oh, and, uh, madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and, uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Hello. You, uh... You must be a Horley's friend. He's one of us. He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. Alden, that's me. But Horley insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged, you see? Anyway, it's a... Pleasure to make your acquaintance, sort of. 
I find your reticence charming. Real charming. <laughs> I heard you might want to earn a little extra money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up at Blue Water Marsh. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way, a catalog. The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if things work out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help you with pertinent information, even if you are a lady. Good afternoon, ma'am.
Hang right there. Hello, Dutch. Hello. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. Biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been... ...this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the... Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> this is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. When's that grub done? Just get this adjusted, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. 
They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. Right, partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Oh, you won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test.
Thank you. 